Now we're going to begin talking about functions, which um, is what college algebra truly is. It's the study of functions. So uh, before we start that, though, we need to start with a more core concept, which is relations. And you guys have already talked about relations, whether you use that word or not. But you've been graphing things in previous classes, like y equals 2x plus 3. And the way that you went about graphing that was you always used a, an x and a y chart. This was kind of like the most basic way of doing it. And we chose some x values, like negative 1, 0, and 1. And then we found the y that went with that. So we would plug in, first of all, a negative 1 for x. So 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2, plus 3 would be 1. And then we would use a 0. So 2 times 0 would be 0, plus 3 is 3. And then we would use a 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. Now this would give us our points. And then we could go through and we could graph those points. So negative 1, 1 would be like here. And then 0, 3 would be up here. And then 1, 5 maybe up here a little bit further. So then we could go through and we could graph that line by connecting those dots. Something like that. That's kind of a, a rough um, drawing of it. But when you did that, you were saying that these x's and y's were related to each other by this rule or by this, you know, equation. That tells us that these two things, that this is a relation. These things are related to each other. Now, we've used sets like x's and y's before when we did our graphing. Now, two sets, x's and y's, they can be related to each other. Another way of saying that is to say that x corresponds to y. They have a correspondence. Or an even better thing to say would be to say that y depends on x. Now, this is very important because this will come up later, and so it's really important that you understand this. The x is called the independent variable, and y is called the dependent variable because y depends on what x is. Now, just like with every relationship, some are you know, better than others. You know, you hear all of the time on the, you know, the news and the TV and things about dysfunctional, uh, dysfunctional families, dysfunctional relationships. That means that they're not working properly. Well, a function then would be the opposite of that. It's something that works properly. A, a functioning um, relationship or uh, something like that would, would be something that is, is, is good and it, it works for everyone. So, in math, we have the same type of thing. There are lots and lots of things that are related to each other by some rule, by some equation, but there are very few of those that are special, and those special ones we actually call functions. Now, the formal definition for a function is this. It says, let x and y be two non-empty sets. A function from x into y is a relation that associates with each element of x exactly one element of y. Now, I realize that's not very clear of a definition. So a better way to put it would be to say for every x value, there can be only one y value. So every time you have an x value, you can only have one y value. Okay? We call the set of x's the domain of the function, and we call the set of y's the range of the function. Now we'll explore this in some examples here in the next video.